Mikey with Lighten Up and Shoot. Welcome to Two Minute Tuesdays. I'm going to do a really quick Photoshop tutorial on how I combine textures with images to create something really artistic and something different. I've got a folder in Lightroom of all different kind of things. Here's a picture of a bag of dirt, a wall, spider webs, birds. I mean, it's just, I've got a huge, massive collection. And then I combine those in Photoshop to do some, add something a little bit different. So let's go ahead and open these up now. And by the way, a shortcut to open up those images from Lightroom into Photoshop is Command E. So here I have an image that I want to add some texture to. So I've already opened up a texture. This is scratched stainless steel. Um, you know, you have to experiment with all different types of textures until you kind of discover what, what works. So here we are. We're going to click and drag using the Move tool on top of the image and let go. Boom. Now, a couple problems here. One is obviously the texture isn't large enough to cover the image, and then I can't see the girl behind the texture. So I'm going to lower the opacity around 50%, and I'm going to raise it up later. I just want to be able to see where I want to place the texture. Now, make this larger, use Command T, which is free transform. Now I can kind of click and drag and manipulate and put this thing wherever I want, right? Until I find kind of where I want it to be. I think that's going to look pretty good right there. Enter, boom, it's on there now. Go ahead and raise the opacity back, right? Now, in the layers palette, Let's use blending modes, and we're going to blend these two layers together. The top layer and the bottom layer, we can blend together. And there's all different types of blending modes we can experiment. Vivid light, hard light, linear light, way too intense for me. In this case, I like overlay. Now, the problem here is, is that I want to see more of her skin. The texture is just uh, dominating the skin a little bit much so I'm going to create a layer mask by clicking this little box with a circle on it creates a layer mask on that texture and I'm gonna pick a brush paint brush here and now I'm going to simply paint away that texture using black is going to conceal think of it like a stencil where all we're doing is just removing some of that texture to bring out the image below. All right, looking pretty good. Now, let's say I made a mistake. I can use white, and I can just bring it right back. See, but let's not do that. So let's erase away some of the skin so that it looks a little bit more realistic. There's a white spot up here. I'm gonna just kind of lightly paint away. All right. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Other than, I think the texture is a little bit too intense. So I'm just going to lower the overall opacity on this layer, on the texture. I think it looks pretty good of around 76%, 78%. All right, there we go. So that's a real quick uh, tutorial on how I use textures to create something a little bit different. You know, you can, it's endless. Uh, use your imagination. You can b combine more textures on top of this. You don't have to limit it to just one texture. I mean, it's really endless. So have fun. By the way, I'm no Photoshop guru. I'm going to have Andy add some notes in the post. So be sure to take a, a look at that and read the post in this Photoshop tutorial. Thanks a lot, guys.